Hey ya, I've been accepted to participate in the Polish Combination Lock Worldwide Challenge where I will try and decode a lock that's been designed to be decode proof or pick proof or crack proof if you like. It's on its way to me but I thought I'd do a pre-video before the lock arrives and I'll also do a video when the lock arrives and also one at the end because I'll have seven days to try and decode it. It's a 3D printed prototype, so it's just made of plastic, but eventually the real thing will be made of metal. The inventor, Zbigniew Olejnik, I apologize for um, botching the pronunciation of your name, but he is an engineer from Poland, and he's come up with a unique block design that he says should be impossible to crack. Impossible without damaging the lock, that is and also without going through all the combinations and there are literally millions of them so he claims his lock is 100% pick proof he was sick and tired of all these combination locks being able to be cracked even safe locks and so he decided to come up with a design which he thinks is properly secure the dials aren't directly connected to the locking bolt and the wheels that connect to the actuator is only connected indirectly and the actuator in turn is only connected to the locking bolt indirectly. So it's sort of like indirectly connected to something that's indirectly connected to the unlocking bolt. So any pull picking method is bound to fail. Now Potty314 is an awesome combination lock decoder and he taught me everything I know. And he couldn't decode it. So um, I, I hope that uh, I'll, I'll be more successful. I'll put links to the Polish Combination Lock Challenge in the description to this video and also links to Potty314's excellent reviews of his attempt at decoding this lock. In one way I hope I can't decode it because it would be really awesome to finally have a combination lock on the market that can't be decoded. But in another way, I want to open the lock and win this challenge, so I'll, I'll give it my best shot. By the way, the inventor has sent an updated version of his lock to the helpful lock picker, as the helpful lock picker is kindly doing a review. He's not actually participating in the worldwide challenge, but instead he'll be given the correct combination code straight away so he can play with it and review it. You can see the updated version here, it's the white one on the right. The helpful lock picker is a really nice person and he's, he's helpful to the lock sport community and all things locks. So the black lock on the left is the one that's being sent to me and it's in the post and it'll arrive here in a week or two. I'll have seven days to decode it when it arrives, but I wanted to do this video now before it arrives to ask for help from you. For those of you who want to look at the design of this lock and come up with some suggestions on how I might go about decoding it, that would be really good. For those of you who are interested, here's Potty314 talking about his attempt at decoding this lock. His video is used with permission. With this 3D model I can explain to you how the lock works and how it operates. So to open up this lock you would need to dial in the right code on these five outer rings and then you can turn the red knob to the right 90 degree which causes all the rings to stick together. You can then turn the whole ring pack to the right 90 degree which allows then the shackle to come free. Let's strip down the lock to see how it works. So here we can see the inside of the lock. Connected to the outer rings are five inner code wheels or code rings. Let's get rid of all of these except one. And it's easier to explain. From this ring we can see there are false gates on every position except on one. And if all the inner code wheels are aligned correctly with a deep cutout with a true gate on top, this blue part can be pulled down 
and to pull it down we have to turn the knob. We can look at the back, get rid of this part here for a moment. There is a gear connected to this red knob on the outside and when all the true gates are aligned correctly we can turn the red knob and the gear would then cause the actuator to be pulled down. So now if it's pulled down the blue part is connected with all the five code rings which would then allow by using the um, outer rings to turn the whole wheel pack or code pack so to speak to, um, to the left in this from this point of view which would then cause this part here the deadbolt to be moved to the left and give room free for the shackle to be pulled out. That was Potty314 and here he is again in his dismantling video after the correct combination was given to him after his seven days were up trying to decode the lock. So here you can see it now turns completely to the right and then the whole pack can be turned to the right and then the shackle can be pulled out. So here you can see the hole with a locking bar that is controlled by this whole wheel pack. So Ah, now we have to first uh, get rid of the pins here so that we can remove the back plate. So that's how it looks inside. Um, the code is set correctly and the actuator is turned all the way down. And so we can turn the whole thing and the locking bar can be controlled. Let's remove the, this piece here, the deadbolt. Uh, so we can see the actuator here, this black piece here in front of you. Um, I turn it to the middle position. Now I turn the, the knob. We should be able to see it moving up and down. That's how you control the, the movement of the actuator with a bar. I take this piece out, so here we can see the bar. And here we can see the inner wheels. Um, when I turn the whole wheel pack, all the wheels turn at the same time. And if I hold one, I can hopefully manage to turn. Oh, let's do it like this. Here you can see uh, yeah, the wheels at a different position. We can see the true gate here and the false gates on, our, on all other positions. There is a screw here that is connected to the knob. I can unscrew it. So here the screw comes off or, or nut. <laughs> so then I should be able to remove the knob. So that's the thing that um, controls the movement um, of the actuator and here are the uh, uh, are the outer rings okay and we have oops the whole inner wheel pack so wish me luck and if you have any ideas of ways I might go about trying to decode this lock Please let me know. Cheers.